welcome back to my channel my name is stephanie before we get started lord i come before you humble give me your thanks and give you praise lord i thank you and i praise you that you fight our battles oh god that you say the battle is not ours, but it's the lord's it's yours and god i give you thanks and i give you praise for it i thank you lord god that you give us strength in the midst of our battles oh god in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit i said you word my mouth i ask that you touch the people that will watch this video Touch their ears to hear and their heart to receive your word, O oh God. If they don't know you, give them a heart of repentance. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. And Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Share these videos. Um, if there's anything about this video that encouraged you, um, anything good, positive, hit the like button. And with that being said, let's move on. Okay, I come on to share this dream that I had. In this dream, this country was being invaded. It was very scary in this dream. These people was like on the rooftop of home. Seemed like looking for us Americans. And it seemed like they had control over this country. And they was all, like I said, they was all... They were all on top of the roofs of our home. I was able to see them. And it's weird because in this home, it seemed like it was a little low, like I could have been, like we could have been hiding, which I know by the dream, it's like they was controlling us. So it seemed like we all was limited on far as going out and what we can do. So I was, was able to see them. But the thing is, and I was in like um, where you could see through, like uh, like no curtains, like just glass. I was standing there and I was able to see them. But the weird, the funny thing about it was they couldn't see me. They passed by me over and over because they was looking for people. They was looking for something, um, people. But they wasn't able to see me, but I was able to see them. And then this, this guy, I guess he was uh, with us or whoever, he was with us. And he passed by and he said, they can see you. I said, they can't see me. He got scared because they, they was coming. They Like I said, they had been passing by, but they couldn't see me. So when he realized they couldn't see me, he felt safe. One thing I do know from that dream, God has a protective hedge around his people. God has a special protective hedge around his people. He's going to shield us from evil. So when this invasion come about from a, these people from a different country, fear not, because God is going to keep us. Deuteronomy 7, 17. Deuteronomy 7, 17. You may say to yourselves, these nations are stronger than we are. How can we drive them out how can we get rid of them how if when this invasion come about when these people start showing up how are we going to get rid of them but do not be afraid of them this is what god say fear not remember well what the lord your god did to pharaoh and all egypt you saw with your own eyes the great trials the signs and wonders the mighty hand and outstretched arm with which the Lord your God brought you out of. The Lord your God will do the same to all the people who now, all the people you now fear. So he said, don't be afraid. Remember what he did to those people in Egypt. He said, remember. That's why we have to read God's word. So when things come about, we can, we can remind him of his word. Lord, you did this for Egypt, for the children of Israel. I know you, you're the same God, you're going to do it for me. So God said, fear not, but to remember what he, he, he done, what he did for those people. 20 says, moreover, the Lord your God would send the hornet among them. Until even the survivors who hide from you have perished. Do not, be, do not be terrified by them. 
for the Lord your God who is among you is is a great and awesome God the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you little by little you will not be allowed to eliminate them all at once or the wild animals will multiply but the Lord your God will deliver them over to you throwing them into great confusion until they are destroyed so he's saying fear not this is what he's saying he's saying fear not for he is going to be with us fear not I want to go back to number 22 the Lord your God will clear away these nations before you little by little he's going to do it you will not be able to put an end to them quickly for the wild beasts will grow too numerous for you so he said you won't be able to do it quickly it's a process to everything but when this day come he said fear not he already have seen this day coming he already have has won the fight the fight is fixed he's gonna win the fight he's gonna win the battle he go ahead of us don't forget so I just come on to share with you what God is showing me what he showed me that this country they're going to invade this country but he's saying, fear not, for he is with you. Fear not. Remember what he did for the children of Israel. Remember the signs and the wonders that he did for them. That he go ahead of us. He said the battle is not ours, but the battle is his. We just have to put our trust and our faith in God. And he's going to do the rest. And with that being said, until next time. Lord, I come before you and I thank you and I praise you, oh God. I thank you, Lord God, that you go ahead of us. I thank you, Lord God, for strengthening your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for putting a protective hedge around yours, oh God. Your people, oh God. Your people, the ones that confess with their mouth and believe with their heart, oh God. That you have a special protective hedge around us, oh God. And Lord, I thank you and Lord, I praise you, oh God. That you will hide us in the midst of the battle. You will hide your people. And Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I praise you. And if someone watching that doesn't know you, give them a heart of repentance. In Jesus' name, amen. And with that being said, until next time, repent.